So welcome to this short video about acknowledgement numbers. I will demonstrate what happens uh, with acknowledgement numbers when packets are arriving out of order uh, using TCP. And in the case here, we have 10 packets and they have different size of payload. So I'll just write down the assumptions that packets number 1, 3, 5 and 7, they each contain 10 bytes. write it out here bytes and packets number two four and six they each contain 15 bytes and packets number eight nine and ten they each contain five bytes I'll just write B it still mean bytes but then I can fit it into one line so now I'm, now I'm assuming that they are running out of order and I will just write down the sequence in which they are arriving. So first I have packet number 1, then number 3, number 4, number 2, number 6, and number 5. And then I'll continue over here and I will explain why in a minute. Uh, after 5 I have 8, 7, 10, and 9. And what I do in CCP is that I always acknowledge um, based on what is the last correctly received byte. So if something is missing in between, uh, I will not, you can say I will not acknowledge any of it. So what does it mean? So in the case that I received packet number one, everything is good, and I will write that I the last correctly received packet was number one, and that contains 10 bytes, so everything is good. Then I received packet number three be before receiving packet number two, and it means that the lastly the last correct byte re I received was actually that of packet number one, because f um, I can say that when I received packet number three, something is missing in between, and therefore I cannot acknowledge the whole sequence, and I have no way of indicating that there is a hole between it unless I use. A special functionality which is called uh, selected X uh, and I don't use it here and therefore the last correctly received packet was number one and therefore I still use acknowledgement number 10 and the same goes when I received number four it's also one that is the last correctly received packet and I still send acknowledgement number 10 but when I now receive packet number two I have actually correctly received for packet number one two three and four and therefore Packet number four would be my lastly correctly received uh, packet. Uh, and therefore I'm using acknowledgement number 50 because I have now received 50 bytes correctly. Uh, 50 bytes because number one and three, they are 10 bytes each, and number four and two, they are 15 bytes each. So in total, that is the 50 bytes. Then I received packet number six, but I'm missing packet number 5 and therefore it's still number 4 which is the co last correctly received packet and it's still number 50. But when I now receive packet number 5, then actually I have received all the bytes until um, packet 6 and therefore I can use 75 as the acknowledgement number. When we get to 8, it's almost the same story that repeats that I'm still missing packet number 7. Therefore, when I count up how many bytes I have correctly received, it will be those including packet number 6. And therefore, the acknowledgement number would be 75. Again, that's how many bytes I have correctly received without any anything missing in between. And when I receive number 7, I have now received everything correctly until packet number 8. And therefore... Um, the acknowledgement number would be 90. The story repeats again here with packet number 10. The last correctly received would be 8. And that gives an acknowledgement number which is 90. But when I receive packet number 9, I have now correctly received all packets until packet number 10. And therefore I can send the acknowledgement number which is 100. And when we look at the um, the quiz and the exam questions and so on, what I'm looking for is basically the numbers here, so the acknowledgement numbers 
which are 10, 10, 10, 50, 50, 75, 75, 90, 90, and 100. So I hope that explains things a little bit better. Uh, thank you very much for listening, and if you have any questions, please get in touch with me again. Thank you so much.